Thanks for watching. I'm Margot Kinberg, and this is In the Spotlight, a closer look at a crime novel. Police procedurals are a staple of crime fiction, and it's not hard to see why. They can build tension and suspense in a story. And police procedurals run the gamut from deep, dark noir to light and cozy and everywhere in between. Also, police procedurals give readers the chance to look behind the scenes of what the police do, how they conduct what they, their work. It's an interesting part of crime fiction, so it's not surprising that police procedurals are so popular. Let's take a look at one today and turn the spotlight on J.M. Gregson's Murder at the 19th. One afternoon, Superintendent John Lambert gets a call from James Shepard, chairman of the Burnham Cross Golf Club, to which Lambert belongs. Shepard says he wants to see Lambert as soon as possible, and Lambert agrees to the meeting. That night, he goes to the golf club for the meeting, but when he and the club stewards go into the committee room, they find that Shepard has been murdered. Immediately, Lambert and his assistant Bart Hook set the machinery of law in motion, and the police begin taking statements and getting evidence and doing their work. Before long, the list of suspects is narrowed down more or less to only five, the people who were in the committee meeting with Shepard right before his death. They are Club Secretary David Parsons, Lady Captain Mary Hartford, Club Captain Michael Tyler, Vice Captain Bill Perch, and Club Member Debbie Hall. This isn't going to be an easy investigation for Lambert, though. As Green's committee chair for the club, Lambert knows the people involved, and he doesn't want to think any of them is guilty. And no matter who committed the crime, there is awkwardness involved in interviewing suspects that one knows. It doesn't help matters at all that Lambert is getting pressure from his chief constable to solve the case quickly. As it is, the tabloids are already starting to have their say about goings-on at a posh golf club. Then there's a fire. Now there's even more urgency about finding out the truth about Shepard's murder. Lambert, Hooks, and the team interview the five most likely suspects and put together what they learn with the evidence that they found. In the end, and after another murder, Lambert and the team find out who the murderer is. As it turns out, Shepard had a cold, malicious way of finding out people's secrets and weaknesses and using them as a means of control. And every one of the suspects had secrets. So what is in this novel? What are the elements that hold it together? Well, as I say, this is a police procedural. So the main focus is on finding and making sense of the evidence, interviewing the people involved, and so on. The story is told mostly from Lambert's point of view, third person, past tense. So we also see how he does his job and where his work fits in. Because the story is told from Lambert's perspective, we also learn about him. He's happily married, has a stable home, and generally follows the rule, although he's not afraid to go out on a limb at times. Readers who are tired of damaged detectives who can't maintain a relationship, can't follow procedure, can't get along with others, will be pleased that Lambert isn't that way. The story takes place in the Cotswolds, and Gregson shares the physical and cultural setting with readers. Against this background, we also get an inside look at the running of a golf club. It's not the most posh club in the UK, but there is a sense that appearances matter, and it's interesting to see how the members interact and how they interact with people who are not members of the club. The story is a traditional style mystery. There are innuendos, but not a lot of explicitness, and the violence, while it's not glossed over, is not a major part of the story. The focus for Lambert is the mystery at hand. Who killed Shepard and why, and what's the evidence? Murder at the 19th is the story of the murder of an unlikable character. It features a limited group of suspects, all of whom have secrets in their pasts, and a police detective who has to cross the boundary between professional and personal to find out the truth. This has been In the Spotlight. I'm Margot Kimbert. Thanks for watching.